All right, you are still watching Ways. January 16th was adopted as the National Startup Day in 2022 with a focus on promoting and encouraging upcoming businesses in the country, calling startups um, the backbone of the new India Prime Minister Narendra Modi's announced, uh, as he announced rather, the formal adoption of the day. On the day, as part of the uh, Azadi, Amit. This conversation is not for me. Celebration. Ce celebration. Several events have been organized more than 75 places across um, the country that that's in India with the aim to foster a spirit of entrepreneurship and innovation by involving the startup community. I mean, I think we should bring this day back home in Nigeria. There's loads of startup companies, uh, loads of people doing amazing things. And again, I think because a lot of Nigerians have gone abroad, and most of them have come back to Nigeria, you know, starting off very, very, I mean, like when you see some people's business, you wonder, why didn't I think of this, right? Very impressive startup companies in Nigeria. So it would be nice for us to have a day like that to also celebrate, you know, um, startup in Nigeria. So um, what did we find in the news? Let me start with you, Chinelo, quickly. Okay, so um, there was this sad story about the lawyer, Bolanli Rahim, who was killed by ASP Vandy, or rather allegedly killed by ASP Vandy. So um, I saw that the trial of ASP Vandy began today, and at the Lagos State High Court, um, she was killed on Christmas Day, I believe, and it said that ASP Vandy was attacked to Ajibwe police station in Naja. And, well, he pleaded not guilty. I mean, I, I really want to know the details of this, and then I'm all actually going to follow up to know how this, because I saw that they didn't finish today, and then the trial has been postponed again till I think the 25th or something like that. Um, so Vandy appeared before Chief Magistrate Adi Dio on December 30th, 2022, after, a day after the Police Service Commission approved his suspension over the alleged killing, and Adi Dio ordered that he should be kept at the Ikoi Custodial Facility pending the advice of the Lagos State Director of Public Prosecutions. So again, he will be tried on the 25th of this month, and I'm actually looking forward so to where that leads us. To. This conversation, you, you, you know, it happened while we were on break, break so we yeah. didn't have the opportunity to talk about this. But, um, I mean, I've had several people talking and saying that, is it because the girl, the lady was popular, she mm. knew a lot of celebrities that came so, out to speak up the, on yeah, the matter yeah. that people get killed every, every day. day. So I don't have a problem with the fact that, first of all, I must commend them that because it seems like, okay, this... Because I think it's a bit linked to because it's it's around the elections, right? Mm -hmm. It's quite detrimental if they, they are seen not to be working. Yes. So, but you can see that there is attempt to actually expedite whatever it is, you know, the judgments and all of that for this particular case. But we need to still understand, and that's why for me, good governance goes beyond politics. It goes beyond just the elections and all of that. Of we need to understand that first of all, um, every human life matter. So when people are being um, mishandled or, or you know, or, or oppressed, oppressed or whatever, yeah, it is yes. your duty as a government, regardless so of whether anybody makes noise or not. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I'm happy that they're they're what's it called? Um, they are on the matter. Oh, yeah. But I'm also saying that let us focus on just cleaning up the system, so we don't even have to get to mm -hmm. where you know, we are with this case. Because I I feel like what people are saying on the streets, right? It makes sense. A lot of people are actually going through this on a daily basis. But because this particular lady, she's popular and all of that, and it's the election season. Yeah, I saw it tweet today because the NBA chairman actually attended. He was in court today. And then someone tweeted and said, oh, so is it because it's Bolani Rahim? Is that why the NBA? And then the man came out to say, no, that's not why I came out. I'm just coming out to tell you guys that however, whatever, whoever it is that this happens to, we're here to actually support humanity. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so your story... Um, Okay, so mine is a bit, um, it's another sad one, but um, it's also um, a plea, or rather, it's just to remind us all that, um, yeah, the year is still starting, and, um, okay, so let me go back to the story. Um, Apropos had, Apropos doctor, the popular doctor, you know, that um, dishes out health, you know, tips. tips yeah. um, he had been ill all through December, and in fact, you know, he had a, a brain tumor. And it was so funny that a lot of people didn't even know that, you know, because he had done, in, in spite of that, you know, he was still, we were still enjoying a lot of his content. So I think what struck for me is the fact that um, it's important that we're kind to people. 
it's important that um, we, we just, I mean, regardless of how crazy the day is, regardless of what is going on with us, we should make it an intentional plan for us this year to be kind to somebody because you just never can tell what they're going through. Mm. I was going to add that um, I remember watching Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. one of the lead um, character, what's her name, the dragon, oh, what's um, her name? Emilia Clark. Yeah, you know, she went through series of okay. um, brain yes. tumor surgeries, yeah. right? So, I mean, when I produ when I saw the video, I was quite proud, first of all, that mm -hmm. he did he that surgery in yeah. Nigeria, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, so, uh, <laughs> when we say that um, human life plays value, these are the things that we're saying, mm. because imagine if he did not fall in the hands of competent of people, of mm. course you know, it would, it would have just been Oh, another, sorry, another, 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 another sorry, oh, you know, and all of that. But I'm happy that, first of all, the surgery was done in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were celebrating the doctor as well. I think, yeah. um, if I can remember his name now, it's some tie or something. Yes. They were celebrating mm -hmm. the doctor as well. So it's important that we understand that this thing is really holistic. Mm -hmm. uh, so talking about good governance, um, the Labour Party presidential candidate was at um, the Chatham House, at Royal Institute of International Affairs, London, and he was talking about different things, of course, again, how his plans for 2020 um, Nigeria, you know, and he was saying, I mean, a question was posed around agitations and all of that, and he says the truth is 63% um, of Nigerians are in massive poverty, mm -hmm. right, which is in itself it feels agitations mm. so you can't have that number of people in it's poverty true. and not have all these kind of agitation or people use them as tools for for mayhem or oh, havoc yes, yeah. right he says so for him quality of life for an average nigerian right mm -hmm. is what his focus will be on servant leadership you know of course again he's going to focus on getting um part, like a marriage between clean and skilled hands mm. right so i mean when i hear things like this it it just gives me a bit of hope that okay yes it's possible that we can actually achieve these things you know but you know when he says 63 percent of nigerians are living in well, poverty I my mind that they said you just said that number it's is it is it correct it's but higher. the thing is looking like it's everywhere you turn everybody's asking you <laughs> uh, how far now how far you know <laughs> so so i mean that i mean that for me it was a fantastic i people should go watch that uh it was quite yeah, brilliant. Good, yeah. You know, it was quite brilliant. Maybe it was a London mm. end. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, let's <laughs> let's take a break, right? When we come back from the break, we'll be speaking to our guests and of course um on, on unpacking the conversation around the ballot and of course how it will drive good governance. Stay with us, we'll be right back.